Now this is Symphony Suites and this project right behind me scored pretty high on our PRB mode analysis. Now Symphony Suites was launched. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And we're heading to check out a four bedroom and three analysis factors on why we think the four bedrooms right here is prime for growth with a secret sauce. Let's go. Whoa, clear out the room. I'm coming through. They want to see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills. Do it for the thrill. I'm on a pay for route. All right, so we're going to talk about this home tour in three different formats. Now, the very first thing is we need to chat about the location and what is happening to Yishun and D27 over the past couple of years. In fact, if we look at the transformation that is happening in terms of the amount of brand new HDB projects that has sprouted out and EC's project that has sprouted out as well as condominiums projects over these past five years, we can see the amount of attention that URA and the government has been putting into D27, especially in Yishun and Canberra region. Symphony Suites was completed in the year 2018. Land tenure starts from 2014, a beautiful project with 660 units. In fact, one of the newest projects that has sprouted out in Yishun over the past five years in comparison to, of course, North Park residences that are sitting on top of Yishun MRT station and North Point and also nine residences a mixed development that is also a very close proximity from us this is a four bedroom at 1023 square feet four beds three bath you get a master with ensuite and a long bath beautifully done and three common bedrooms all fronting towards the same direction all the largest units right here in terms of its four bedroom sizes faces towards the internal facing which is predominantly the pool view facing We're going to show you how this layout looks like. So you have a very nice entry foyer zoning that our owners has already constructed and renovated this when they bought this direct from the developer. The key feature is that the owners love the hidden cove lights that's all planted into the wardrobes. Later, you have a look at the beautiful master room as well as a lot of cove lights right here. There's bottom areas for you to put in your shoes. Internal lamination has been done uh, basically for the woodwork as well. I'm going to show you the kitchen area. So there's a sliding panel here. And then uh, maybe you can pop in from here, Boney, at a glass here, say hi. So uh, the see-through effect is pretty interesting because um, that forms that triangle zoning that we have always been talking about. That means at the kitchen area, are you able to see your dining space? Are you able to see your living space? And this is a landscape layout, which is usually reserved uh, for the larger unit. And what we can see that in terms of its design, the necessities has already been done. This rack at the top, right on top of the sink. And of course, you have this open area here. Just lay in some of the things that you want to chop and prepare and things like that. And then you can come here, do your cooking and basically three burner system, EF brand. You also have a bottom conventional oven. Fridge space for a nice huge LG fridge. And then you have a yard zoning, which you can see the washer come dry is already there. And then the yard WC as well as a utility room. The kitchen space is pretty wide. Um, that's about two full tiles and a half. It's not the one and a half uh, tile version. So this is really quite a white width uh, in terms of its walking space. And then as we come to the living area, what we see is that the living room is here. Dining is currently fitted with a six-seater. You get to see the main lab pool right here below. We are located at stack number 26. If you notice about all the different stacks in the four bader, they're all facing internally. So this is towards the northeast direction. There's no direct afternoon sun coming into the unit. All the 11 blocks here are all either northeast or southwest. And uh, even if you do get the southwest facing for some of the units, uh, the tinted windows will do the job. And um, but this is northeast, beautiful direction. And we're also at a corner stack. One of the key highlights is that you get the side ventilation um, but in between the different towers, you also get cross van as well. So I would say that it's pretty well thought after in terms of a site plan. So you're gonna see a projector uh, on top of me. This is a short throw projector. Uh, it's already pre-built with a projector screen and then you can cast uh, your shows for movie nights with your family right here. Of course, TV console space, you can put in a 75 inch. And then when we flip over, um, you're gonna see one common bedroom here. So this is more like a dumbbell layout three bedrooms towards the left corner 
and then one bedroom towards the right corner. So you get two separation here. And dumbbell layout gives you that flexibility because something about Symphony Suites is that this still belongs to the era without the PPVC uh, kind of regulation. So you can actually collapse down any walls that you want. Let's say you are looking for a bigger space, you don't really need that full on four bedroom, you can knock down this wall. Just build a full glass right here as a playroom or maybe as a, a study room right tucked in this corner. And then as you flip over, um, this walks in towards the bedroom. But meantime, let's have a chat on the price action. So what has happened in terms of price action in D27, Yishun and Canberra region? Now if we were to look at the very first project that has defied the odds, uh, that will be North Park Residences because when it was just launched as an integrated project, a lot of people were thinking, hey, in terms of its launching price, does it make sense? But just have a look at the price performance of that project today. Integrated projects over the past years has already been proven to be more premium in terms of its price action due to its locale, convenience as well as the amount of integration being plugged in. So North Park Residence right now, no four bedrooms are selling, but there was a transaction that happened in May 2021, and that was being done at about 1.9 million. In fact, most recently in the tail end of 2021, three bedders are already transacting at close to $1.7 million in terms of quantum. In terms of per square foot, that's doing at about $1,006 plus to $1,700 per square foot, which is definitely one of the key benchmarks right here in Yishun. So if we spread across the entire Yishun, Symphony Suites is about a 12 minutes walk from Yishun MRT Station and North Point. And uh, if you were to drive, that will take you about three minutes. You can also travel down by cycling through the park connector, which is beautifully linked all the way cutting through towards uh, Safra, Yishun Pond Park, Kutek Park Hospital. Of course, from there, you can cut through right towards the Yishun Central shop houses. In terms of new projects, this will definitely be the projects in the Canberra region. Just have a look at Water Gardens, Commodore. It's four bidders are all doing in the range of about $1.9 to $2 million kind of range. Provence Residences, uh, that was also being launched very recently. And uh, in terms of the quantum price, is at about $1.6 plus million for the EC status. And then as we track back to Symphony Suites, there's going to be a project that will be launched very soon, and that's North Gaia. That's also an executive condominium. Launch price is estimated to be in the range of about 1,002 plus per square foot. So if we take the average size of a four beta that's ongoing right now in D27, and across most new launches, that will be in the range of about 1,003 to 1,004 square feet. So if we were to multiply that by 1,250 per square foot, that will bring us to a range of about 1.6 plus to about 1.7 odd million dollars. <laughs> Now, how much is this four bedroom and symphony suites asking for? This is asking for $1.3 million, 1,023 square feet. You get four bed, three bath. And you might be wondering, hey Melvin, why is this quantum low in the range of about $1.3 million? Because for $1.3 million in most parts of Etro and Canberra right now, for example, at North Park, you can only buy a two bedroom right there. And of course, other projects, you might be only be able to buy a three bedder in the range of $1.2 to $1.3 million. But why is it that you can get a four bedder in symphony Suites. Now the key reason for the lower quantum is because of a secret sauce and the secret sauce is because there is no balcony right here in all the units at Symphony Suites. Now let me bring out the site plan to give you a better illustration. So out of the 660 units, there are only two three, three bed premium and four bedroom unit types. Two bedders, 180 units, three bedder, 180, three bed premium and four bedroom, 150 units each, making up 660 units. Something very distinct about Symphony Suite is that the facade is beautifully done with 80% predominantly dark glass facade with the whitish tone towards the side walls. So when you drive downwards from the Salita region or from Ishu region, this project is extremely distinct standing at 11 towers, done with two basement parking, and of course, full-on facilities with three different pools, 50 meters lap pool, there's a water cove pool, as well as a 25 meters pool as well. So when the developers decided not to put in the balcony, that technically reduces the overall quantum of the price. And that to us is a beautiful secret sauce. Now, why is that so? Because the key reason is we were to compare two four beders side by side. I brought out this 1,023 square feet four beder at Symphony Suites compared to maybe a 1323 square feet four beder with this balcony. Technically speaking, nowadays in terms of balcony sizes, they are all treading in the range of 250 
to 350 square feet and balcony spaces similarly to aircon latch spaces they are calculated as exactly the same per square foot as the internal livable area in your living dining kitchen and bedrooms so 20 years ago most projects just have a look at projects in Tangling Regency or maybe in Simsville or in some of the projects in town area those projects don't come with balcony and they are predominantly in the 1003 plus square feet size for its 3 bader and translating it to the modern layout where most 4 bathers are about 1003 plus square feet size but they come with a balcony so technically speaking your internal livable area if you were to buy something at 1003 plus square feet internal is perhaps at about a thousand plus minus so i would say that by buying something in symphony suites that technically reduces your quantum by close to about three hundred eighty thousand dollars just have a look at the calculation so right now this forbidden in terms of its market price is asking at 1.3 million that's at about thousand two plus dollars per square feet if this unit were to come with a balcony inbuilt at about 1323 square feet in totality, multiply that again by the same asking per square foot price, that's gonna bring us up to an overall quantum of about 1.6 plus over million dollars. And uh, technically speaking, that extra 300 square feet of balcony size is gonna quantify at about $380,000 price quantum. So if you don't need a balcony, you're happy with having that internal building space because anyway, Way, the four bedroom comes with a yard zoning for your washer come dryer it comes with a utility room it comes with a yard bathroom and you can do your laundry at the back you don't need that extra balcony space for a laundry at the front or you don't need an outdoor space right there for a breeder because anyway you can go downstairs to enjoy the large landscape right here in symphony suites with the full suite of facilities including a tennis court and a half basketball court and loads of garden spaces then i think symphony suites is perfect for the family that's hunting for a four bedroom at a quantum that is below the $1.4 million mark. So we are chatting about the location analysis in terms of its pricing comparison and the price growth right here in D27. Something to note as well in terms of location analysis is that the amount of BTO projects coming out is an important factor when you are buying a condominium in the OCR region because the more brand new HDBs are being built, that's going to be one of the main exit audience in future that might be interested in the condominium right now that you're holding on to. Let's say there are five to eight different plots of BTO HDBs that are being built in your estate. What does that mean is that in the next nine years time, having that four years construction period and five years MOP for for the first hand owners they are maybe going to hunt for projects in the same locale because maybe over that years their children has already been studying around the Eastern region and they might be hunting for resale projects that's existing right now so talking about kindergarten there's also a childcare right here within symphony suites and that's pretty interesting and convenient for residences over here and last but not least we think that symphony suites hits quite a nice score on our prb mode analysis just have a look at our prb mode analysis where we compare 10 different factors looking at condominiums in terms of its future exit potential and Symphony Suites hits quite a fair bit of check boxes because it's a mid to high tier density project 150 units of 4 bidders right here plays a huge part in terms of very healthy volume and transaction factor not forgetting as well that the maintenance fee in terms of money MCST is only at about 280 odd dollars per month and you're also within 1 kilometers from Chongfu Primary School and that helps in terms of its parents attraction factor on our mood analysis effect so we're going to visit the bedrooms right now, so come here and have a look. So the third bedroom is located and tucked right at that corner. Queen bed, built-in three-panel wardrobe. Bedroom windows are all full length all the way, similar to what you get in the living room. Currently, what our owners have done in terms of renovation is that they have combined this room into one with very, very minimal alteration. Let's have a look at what alteration is there. Basically what they've done is that they've removed this center dividing wall. Our quotation is already done from our renovation ID. So when you come for a physical viewing, our listing managers are going to show you that it actually costs very little to build back that wall. Now the second cupboard right now is being utilized as a resting zone with a king bed, two side tables, beautifully done. And then you have cove lightings hidden within the display cabinets that increases the cozy feel and ambiance. Also beautiful cove lightings within the wardrobe systems. And 
most interestingly, you get a bathtub within your four bedroom master ensuite. I particularly like the tiles materials for the wall tiles and the flooring. This is a more rugged material. It's non-sleep, so it looks beautiful. It has design, but yet at the same time, it's very practical. Vanity top, nicely maintained. Bottom storage system. Nice mirror done here with cove lighting at the back as well. And ventilation windows, extremely important. Most importantly is that this is a quantum play and when we talk about quantum play, let's project three to five years later. Let's say for example, you want to move on to a bigger place after your family has outgrown this place. What's going to happen in the price point in three to five years time is that you will enter at 1.3 mil for a four beta. Three to five years time, you will still be the lowest quantum in terms of its four beta right now. Because if once that EC is going to be launched and if it's going to be launched with 1.6 plus or 1.7 million dollars for its four beta, as already seen in province residences. The future owners in nine years time, when they hit their MOP period after that four years construction and five years MOP, owners right there are definitely going to ask for at least a $2 million mark because they've already waited nine years. If we look at what is happening right now, just at this very present moment, for somebody to get a four beta within the Eastern region, if they are looking for something that is new and below 10 years old, North Park residences is already 1.9 to 2 million. Most of the properties right here in terms of its quantum is already trading in the range of about 1.4, 1.5 million thereabouts for its 4 beta. So to get a quantum of 1.3 or anything below 1.4 is a little bit difficult especially if you are looking for a big size project and you're looking for something that's not too old. So Symphony Suites fits a lot of check boxes and if you want to have a look at this place give a call to our listing manager and uh, once again my name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers is always happy to show you the place meantime take care <laughs> oh hey hello 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 which are usually <clears throat> and this is and <laughs> <laughs> now Symphony Suites was launched Sorry, sorry, sorry.